Okay, next up on Office Hours with Jason is Ajay. Ajay, A-J-A-Y. And he is with a company called Viral. Viral. Viral, spelt incorrectly, (laughs) V-Y-R-I-L-L-L-L. No, V-Y-R-I-L-L.com. Terrible name, uh, incredibly confusing to spell. Uh, but you got the dot com. Yes, it's it's a it's a it's a play on viral marketing. But. Clearly, a play on viral <laughs> marketing that requires people on the phone to spell it three times, uh, which is a total fail. And when you type it into Google, you're going to come up last. Uh, but we'll get into your horrible choice in uh, domain name selection and naming in a minute. What is your biggest challenge? Yeah, so the biggest challenge is we sell our. Uh, video. Uh, yeah, explain what you do yeah. and then explain what your big challenge Yeah, is. so essentially what we do is we're helping brand marketeers dig through all that massive amounts of video content on social media and help find the best video reviews, unboxing videos, and all that that drive conversion. So essentially we are an AI-based uh, video discovery, analytics, and content marketing platform uh, to enable... So uh, if I'm Samsung... conversion. So if I'm Samsung or I make the Google Pixel yeah. or I can pay you to find people who've made videos about me. Correct. And you all use AI to find them as opposed to me saying on YouTube, Google Pixel 3 review. That's correct. So so the difference is... Yeah, what's the difference? Because yeah, that sounds like a marketer could pay somebody $16 no, we actually, an hour so to not do only, all this. So, so we, we've actually trained machines to watch millions of videos. So we are ah. able to map... This is what makes us very unique. We're able to map millions of video reviews to product SKU category. Ah brand and competitor. Okay. We then go inside the video and we analyze the video through nine different lenses. So sentiment, topic, scene, demographic, brand safety and all that. And ah, we so score that's the video. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So and that's we score that the video. Layer. So it's exactly very relevant video that will ah. convert. So if I am the iPhone and I see that Jason at Jason on Twitter is talking smack about the iPhone's camera sucking compared to his Pixel 3, which yeah. I was doing when I was in Hong Kong and yeah. I literally just stopped taking pictures on my iPhone. Um, you would inform them of that and then describe the sentiment for correct, them. Correct, correct. So the Apple people are there. Okay, I get it. I so, the so if I'm a, so what is your challenge? Yeah, so the challenge is really uh, uh, B2B sales. You know, at the moment, our, our, we, we're focusing on two verticals, beauty and automotive, and we're now expanding to uh, CPG. Uh, and so the challenge I have is we have two people right now on sales team, myself, and I have one other person in L.A., in LA. And so the challenge is we mostly we do outbound marketing right now, go to conferences, bring in leads from there. We're now launching an inbound uh, mechanism to, to build more leads. So we actually have, we have done some pilots with some big customers. We have case studies that we're building up. And we're also launching a free search engine so people get a taste of what are what are. So what's the challenge? So the challenge is uh, how to increase my sales, how Got to it. sell to what more What is the market. product cost? Uh, the product is, uh, on, for, average. on average, is two to $20,000 a month. Based on number two of, to twenty thousand dollars, a big yes, range. Yes, it's, it's really a SaaS. Okay, so uh, half of your model. customers pay what? The top so half they're paying right now. Uh, the top half pay what? I would say we're at we're starting at two thousand right now. That's a what month. The, uh, a month. Okay, and how long have you been selling it? So about eight months now. Okay, so we don't know the lifetime value yet. Not yet. But the good news is, let's just say it costs two thousand a month, twenty four thousand dollars a year in most cases. Um, you have a lot of room to play with because if it's a good product and people keep it for three or four years, you're talking about fifty to a hundred thousand uh, dollars, and that means you could pay, I believe, a hundred, two hundred dollars per lead, which means you could pay a dollar or two per click and convert one percent into a lead. You understand how this funnel system yeah, yeah, works? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so you are the perfect system. person to do content marketing that backs into a webinar. Okay. or uh, a consultation. So what I would do is I would come up with some viral content that comes out every month, right. and you do the sentiment analysis of the most hated brands. Okay. The brands that are the most hated. Now, you smiled and you laughed. I got an emotional reaction for you. Well, that's one of the keys to doing viral content or content that gets people's attention is that you get an emotional response. So these are the five most hated brands this month. Um, and you say... Uh, Samsung phones, you know, when they were blowing up right. or, you know, Apple when they took away the phone jack, right? Whatever it is. Right, right. And you say, here is a supercut. Do you know what a supercut is? No, no. Supercut's a, a viral phenomenon on YouTube where somebody will make a video of a bunch of people slapped together having the same comment. So it's like a, a supercut of like the same moment. Got it. So you literally take 
a, make a supercut of 25 people complaining about the iPhone removing the phone jack, from famous people to unfamous people. Yeah. Now that goes viral, and you say, read the report, the 10 things people hate most about the iPhone, and the 10 competitors who people mention most as replacing their iPhone. Then you take that, you make a landing page. Anybody who hits that landing page, you retarget them. Do you understand what retargeting yes, is? Yes, I do understand So you cookie them and yeah. you retarget them with a white paper form. Okay. You have a 10-page white paper that goes deep into this. Right. Then you target it on LinkedIn advertising okay. against people who work at those companies or their competitors and have the titles of president, CEO, product manager, marketing, PR, customer service, et cetera. Right. Now you've got this funnel of people who wanted to click on the five most hated things about the iPhone or these other competitors. Right. And there's a form that says, if you would like us to do a sentiment analysis on your product, or you would like to get our 10 tips on how to not suck, <laughs> or 10 tips for dealing with customer complaints, whatever right. ones you make, right. fill out this form and we'll immediately email it to you. Got it. They fill out the form, boom. And if they go to the form page, right, you know something else about them. Right. So you have one set of retargeting people who went to see the viral video. You go to the other one of people who filled out the form. The people who filled out the form, you can afford to spend $5 per click, right? They right. have really become yep. important yep. players. Right. The ones that, before that, maybe a dollar click. And then you have your sales executives having fresh, delicious, nutritious, high quality, you know, the 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 wagyu level leads, right? Not the ground beef, not the the crummy chuck, you know, bad beef. Right, you're getting right, them right. like the high quality wagyu. You know what right. I'm saying? Yeah, 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 absolutely. So you just have to invest in building that funnel. Right, right. And then right. your salespeople, instead of them doing this hard work of cold emailing a hundred people a week, yeah, they're responding to five who filled out the form every week. Got it. Got it. And w just want to follow up yep. question on that. So is there something, so we also want to sell by number of seats, logins as well. Yep. So is, is there anything marketing, uh, I want to create a market networking effect within once you're sold. Yeah, the so, because, so here's, here's where I'm going with that. Our data, uh, our, our insights can be uh, essentially, uh, can be leveraged by social analytics and uh, content marketing teams. Got it. Very simple. Um, you get one person to sign up. You allow them to comment on the data and have like a message word feature. So let's say you have charts and stuff like that. On the top right hand of the screen, I'm yeah. looking at the chart. It says, invite people from your company to discuss this. Okay. And you type, they type in emails and then they're popped in that chat room instantly. Got it, awesome. Or share this document with people. You share it and then they can post comments. Got it. So it could be like, share this and talk to your team about it. You put in my email. Right. Now I'm shared and then we have a, a room and it says, Ajay wanted to talk to Jason about this. Right. And it puts that first, you know, icebreaker in there. Now, if they start having a comment thread there and they quit the service, they have to quit the thing. And you could say to them, oh, I see you have 17 people commenting on this one chart. Uh, if you'd like to upgrade them so they can see all the charts themselves. Right. Boom. So right. you let people comment on individual charts, but not see the entire charts. Got it. So then the person would have to re-invite right. everybody to every chart <laughs> right. and they're just popping off. And then at a certain point you could say, you know, you can invite people, you can invite up to 10 people to up to 10 charts a month. Yeah. And after that, you can't. Yeah. Right. So some sort of stickiness yeah. where there's annotation or something going on. By the way, the I love that. We're in the process of introducing live ch chat within the dashboard itself so people yeah. can talk. That yeah, makes so, it sticky. Community yeah. stuff makes it yeah. sticky. Okay. Very that, hard. That's okay. helpful. Thank uh, you. And then you want to have the charts update. So that's another thing. Let's say that chart adds the month of March. Yeah. It should email everybody and say, this chart has added the month of March. Now you've got an engagement strategy. Right. Right. So right. this stuff all takes time to build. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But you have whenever you have a product that makes twenty thousand dollars a year or more, or let's just say even five thousand yeah. dollars a year or more, yeah. when you're making over five thousand dollars a year, you can start to really do interesting stuff. When you're selling a ten dollar subscription every month for Spotify, yeah, yeah. or five dollars a month or whatever yeah. it is, yeah. very hard. Yeah. By the way, we just sold a twenty thousand dollar product for four months, so essentially it's it's become yeah. now a sixty thousand dollar product, and yeah. we're, we're we're up as we're as we're building it. We're upping the uh, yeah. The I would as well. deprecate the bottom half of your customers. Do not okay. let people get into this product, right? Because you're 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 a weapons salesman. You're an arms dealer, and when you're an arms dealer, <laughs> if you give everybody you know like the latest fighter plane, yeah, it negates the value. I see. You want to only sell the bomber and the fighter planes, the people who can pay you the top dollar, Got it. and then the other people die. Okay. And get wiped out. Okay. That's the promise That's you're making. That's very good insight as well. Yeah. I mean, the promise you're making to the marketers who buy this is they'll be able to defeat their competitors. Yeah. 
and then their competitors have to buy it. Right. And then if you don't have enough money to buy it, you die. Yep. It's called Darwin, you know? <laughs> okay. I'm just being candid. Yeah, no, very helpful. All right, helpful. good luck. Yeah, uh, how you. much money are you going to make in, how much money did you make in 2018? What are you going to make in 2019? So uh, 2018 was about 100K. Great. And we're actually, the goal is to buy August to book about a million dollars in book revenue. Book a million, book, okay. Yeah. So you want to try to do maybe five, six, seven hundred in 2019. Correct. Yeah. You want a five extra revenue. All right. Be in touch with my team because you are starting to get into that accelerator moment. We are. And by the, by the way, we're closing a $2 million round and Fantastic. already 1.5 is in the bank. That's great. So just closing the remainder half Good right luck. now. So yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. Well, uh, be careful because I don't know if we can say that live on television. <laughs> okay. You may have to uh, edit that part out. Did we talk to your attorneys? Okay. Okay. We'll be right back with yeah. more office hours. Yeah. 